it's me, Zeal, and here today in between innings to do my MLB free agency video. So I've been doing this for the NFL. I just recorded my second part, which you'll see before this. But I was like, hey, I should do more MLB ones. So I'm going to go right into it, go over some of these um, free agency signings and trades right now during the offseason, even though the offseason just started because the lockout just ended. I'm just going to go over the key ones, whatever. I'll make more videos because uh, there's going to be a lot more just started. So first, let's just do some Dodgers ones. It's got my Dodgers hat on and my Kershaw jersey. And that's why I put the Kershaw jersey on. Clayton Kershaw re-signed with the Dodgers with a one-year deal to stay on the team. I think he just retires, honestly, soon and just ends on the Dodgers. I couldn't see him in any other jersey. Only other jersey I could see him is on the Rangers. And I think if he would have went to the Rangers, he would have done it this year and ended off there because he's from Dallas. But, um... This is a, like, I'd say it's a B-plus for us. It's, like, good because he has chemistry. We've been with him for a long time. Dave Roberts, our coach, been with him forever. So, yeah, I mean, three-time Cy Young winner and really good. But, I mean, he's not as good as he used to be, obviously. He's really old, but he still adds some need to our bullpen. We lost a couple of guys. And going into that, I'll say Kenley Jansen, our main closer, Really, really good. I mean, yeah, he gets some hate sometimes because he's, like, last season had a couple mistakes. But um, he signed with the Braves, the teams that knocked us out of the playoffs this year. On I don't remember if it was a one-year deal. Let me see. Hold up. Kenley Jansen signed a one-year $16 million contract with the World Series champions, Atlanta Braves. Okay, well, yeah. So... I don't know. I yeah. I think this is like good for them. I think it's an A minus. They have really good bullpen and adding a like World Series winner, adding a veteran to their bullpen. I think that's really good. And Kenley Jansen's like entering the Hall of Fame conversation. Um, another one, Phillies land, really good free agent. And I, I mean, I know the Dodgers can't get everybody, so I shouldn't be selfish. But I really like Nick Castellanos, and I really wanted him. But he signed a five-year deal with the Philadelphia Phillies, $100 million. Really, really good. I give this a A. I don't know, like, how it's going to be, how they're going to build the rest of the team together. But I say this is a really, really good addition. Nick is really good. Um, Carlos Correa, the number one free agent who is still left, signed with the Twins on a three-year, $105.3 million contract. A plus, really good for the Twins, nothing else. Just awesome addition and really, really lucky they got him. This happened just yesterday while I was at my friend's house. Or, yeah, was that yesterday? No, it was two nights ago. I don't remember. The Red Sox land Trevor Story on a $140, $140 million deal, six years. Wow, I mean, Trevor Story is really, really good. I do think he's going to help the Red Sox. I do think that now they're probably going to win this the AL East, even though it is stacked. Trevor Story is awesome, and yeah, I think that's going to be really good for them. Um, Dodgers made me so... I was going insane when I saw this. Freeman agreed to terms with the Los Angeles Dodgers on a six-year, $162 million deal. Wow, I can't believe this is awesome. Like, Freeman... Just on the Braves, we just lost Kenley to the Braves, so I guess it was a trade. We didn't trade, obviously, but, like, Kenley signed with them, and we signed Freddie, except they only get Kenley for a year, and we keep Furman for six years. And keep in fact that we're going to have Betts for the next decade. I think he has 11 years on his contract. Having Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman on our team for the next couple of years, and you would think, why are you getting Freddie Freeman? He's a first baseman. Max Muncy, now with the addition of the Universal DH, so the National League will have a designated hitter, so the Dodgers will, to help Max Muncy's injury and not make him have to play on the field all the time. We're going to move probably Max Muncy to DH, is my assumption, and put Freddie Freeman at first base. Freddie Freeman just won, I think, a silver slugger. It wasn't the gold glove. I think he won the silver slugger for first baseman. Really, really good. and so happy to get him. That's an A-plus for the Dodgers. And, yeah, we really need... Like, we don't, not all we can get, but we just want to capitalize another World Series. Everyone keeps giving us hate for that COVID championship, so I want to run a real one and try to do anything we can do to win. 
Chris Bryant, always been kind of one of my favorite players, former Chicago Cub and San Francisco Giant. Just signed a seven-year deal with the Rockies for $182 million. Uh, really, really good. I don't know how this is going to be like, what's it called? Um, the Rockies are still a really bad team, but I do think this will help them improve a little bit. They just need a little couple more additions. I do think pe some people want to play with Chris Bryant, so that could reel in more free agents for the Rockies. So I give that a A for the Rockies. The Blue Jays get Matt Chapman in a swap with the A's. That's crazy. Matt Chapman's really, really good, and uh, I think that's definitely an A- minus for the Toronto Blue Jays. Kyle Schwarber going from Washington. Or he was with Washington, and then he was with Boston, and now he's going to the Phillies. He had that like really good month back in the summer. I don't know where it was, where he had like 17 homers. Man, was crazy. So he's signed with the um, Phillies. Zach... I always forget how to say his last name, Zach Greinick, whatever. Goes back to Kansas City with a one-year deal where his career began. I'm, thinking, I'm trying to remember the big things. Okay, Anthony Rizzo went back to the Yankees on a two-year deal. That's an A for the Yankees. That's, he's still really good. Uh, Matt Olsen went with in a trade. Matt Olsen went to the Braves for... Uh, uh, outfielder Christian Pache and a couple of other guys. So this really made it obvious Freddie Freeman was leaving because this was before Freddie Freeman left. So you knew he wasn't really returning if um, if they got Matt Olson. Matt Olson is really, really good. So yeah, Matt Olson goes to the Braves and just makes the team even better and better. Really trying to get that second World Series. Andrew McCutcheon went to Milwaukee. It was kind of like Tim. Uh, Nelson Cruz signs with the Nationals on a one-year deal. So much has happened. Well, former MVP Josh Donaldson going to the Yankees in a trade with the Twins. Yeah, like, there's so much going on right now. It's crazy. What's it called? I don't know if there's any big other Dodger ones. Let me see. Joe Kelly. Okay, so Joe Kelly was one of our pitchers. He went to the White Sox, not in a trade, but he signed with them. So, yeah, that's going to – oh, and Carlos Rodon signed with a two-year deal with the Giants. So, the left hand started really good. That's definitely an A for them. Dodgers brought back Chris Taylor. That was also crazy. And, yeah. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go over after more and more happens in the MLB. I'm going to keep doing that for the MLB, too. Thanks for watching. Peace.